Hi everyone, welcome to Mike's Garage. So this is gonna be an awesome video. I'm looking forward to this. Been setting up this uh, Solus inverter and these LG batteries, and I wanna compare the output against my 12,000 XPs and my trusty lead times here. So spec-wise, here's what we have. Solus 11.4K inverter. It's a hybrid running in off-grid mode. A pair of LG lithium ion 16 kilowatt hour batteries. So they are total 32 kilowatts against one EG4 12,000 XP. Got the other one turned off and 24 lead time batteries that are 24 volts and they're uh, set up to run in 48 with series parallel configuration. So here's how we're going to do the test. If you've seen my videos, you know I've got a lot of goodies in my shop. So we're going to turn on a bunch of lights. We're going to turn on a bunch of machinery. And we're also going to see, can it lift the car? So what we're going to start first with is going to be the Solus inverter. I want to see what it does. And then we'll kind of compare it against my uh, 12,000 XP. So the first thing that I need to, to do, and once again, disclaimer, this is a temporary setup, so please do not do this at home. Don't want anybody to get injured. Typically, you're going to want to have a transfer switch between your two different inverters, in which I am not because I am just testing. So I'm going to flip the switch off. We're going to lose power, and then I'm going to flip the transfer switch to on on the Solus, power up the, uh, the panel, which will feed into my main panel over there. And we can start testing. All right. So we are now running on the Solus and the LG batteries. So once again, got to turn all the lights on, start turning on equipment, turn on multiple mini splits, radios, machinery, all this goodness. We'll see how it does, and then the ultimate test is, can it lift the car? Let's turn on all these lights here. Once again, another project car. Okay, all the lights are on. I'm gonna put this mini split, so this is a three ton mini split. I've got it on 62 degrees, so it's going to be maxing out for cooling. Let me do the same for in the chill area. Okay, so looking at the screen on my computer, we're currently pulling 4,800 watts. So let's put some more load on it. So this is rated for 11,400 Let's see what it does. So let's turn on some good old heaters in here because it's getting way too cold. All right. So my mighty Sears heater is putting out 1500 watts. And then here's my Arvin, who made the Sears, the Sears heater. Oh yeah, that's some heat. All right, so I went ahead and turned more equipment on. As you can see, all my pumps, everything else that I can turn on, even a small air compressor over there. So let's see what it's at right now. Looks like we're pulling 8,400 watts. Let me see if I could turn on one more thing. Okay, so this is pulling another 1,200 watts. Let me turn on some of my other lights. So we've got to be pushing, like I said, it takes a little bit for this to update, but we've got to be pulling a good 10,000 watts out of it. The battery percentage dropped from, I think I was at 28% down to 24. So we're definitely pulling some juice out of it. But yeah, this is nice and stable. So we're pulling all of 10,000 watts out of it. I don't see any issues at all. What I am going to do is go ahead and shut it down and then we'll uh, 
test the lift and see if I can lift up a car. All right, so now that I've got everything back off except for the lights, next test that I'm going to do is going to be a sound test. Let's see if we're going to pick up any noise with the amplifiers. So there's two amplifiers here. And I am hearing some hum. So let me see if it's coming out of the Class A Yamaha or my, my Maggie that I restored. So it looks like no noise out of the tube amp, but the power amp. And what's interesting is I have the speakers off. So that vibration, that noise that you hear, it's actually the power transformer that's in it. So I'm going to shut that back off. And I'm going to turn all this back off as well. All right, so now we're going to test, can it lift a car? So I've got all the lights on. The HVAC is off. So let's see what it does. And it does lift the car. Now we're going to watch the lights when we press the power button. You see a little bit of a blink on it. So it does have the capacity to lift it, but it is strained slightly. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to repeat the test and we're going to do it with the 12,000 XP and my good old lead times. All right, so let's go ahead and perform the switch. First thing we're going to do is take this inverter, power it off, I'm going to flip off this breaker. We're only going to flip on one breaker because we're only going to run. We're only going to run a single 12,000 XP. Okay, all the lights are on. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put on all the loads once again. Okay, AC's on here. Okay, both ACs are on. Let's crank up these heaters. Air compressor. Parts washer. Bandsaw. Drill press, sander, okay right now we're pulling 8200 watts, and once again another 1215 watts out of one of my power stations. As you can see, this went from green to amber because it is going off a of battery voltage and I am pulling a ton. So here we are, 10,000 watts, no issues whatsoever. No flickering lights, no nothing. So kind of similar results, but what we can do, since this is a 12K, let's try this. Can I still power up this shop vac. This is a big old Craftsman shop vac. Peak horsepower, 4.25. So what we're going to do next, we're going to turn off the AC and the other loads. We're just going to leave the lights on, and then we're going to see how well that this lifts the car. All right, so everything is off, but the lights were pulling a little over 1500 watts right now. Let's go back into the shop. 
and let's lift up the same car, same lift. We're gonna watch the lights and see what it does. <laughs> It does have a uh, slight voltage drop. It is less than what the uh, Solus puts out. So as far as maximum output, the 12,000 XP appears to have a little bit more headroom. All right, so both inverters and batteries were fully tested. As you see, I put a tremendous load on them. Both of them did really good. The Solus, what's neat about that is it never got hot. This heat sink on the back is just warm. Like I said, there's no fan, so you'd never hear it. Of course, my AG4, I did hear a little bit out of that. But besides that, the Solus perform well, the batteries perform well. My guesstimation, since the app was a little bit behind in running the same test as the 12,000 XPs, this was loaded up to a little over 10,000, maybe around 10,500 watts or 10 and a half kilowatts. So I did load it up quite a bit. It did well, it held all of the loads. A couple things that I did notice, I noticed a slight hum out of my amplifier when that was turned on, whereas with the 12,000 XP, I don't. So the output on the 12,000 XP could be a little bit cleaner. I need to look at the sine wave for both of them and kind of compare it. But I think the 12,000 XP has a little bit of a cleaner output to it, which is nice. So now with the lift, so both inverters were able to lift the car. The Solus 11.4 kilowatt, it did pretty good. It had all the lights on and it was able to lift it. I did see the LEDs flicker a decent amount. The 12,000 XP, it was quite a bit less. So 11.4 compared to 12, obviously there's, there's more capacity with the 12,000 XP. My guess is there's probably larger capacitors in the 12,000 XP, which just gives that, that extra capacity when you have that surge. Now, with the lights flickering, it is saying that it's putting too much of a load on the inverter, and that's why in my shop I now have two 12,000 XPs in parallel, so I no longer run into that situation. All right, so that's it. Thanks again for watching Mike's Garage.